Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff here with Project Next. It is a bright and early morning. In fact, when I left out of my house, it was still dark. <laughs> but anyway, I'm headed over to a friend of mine's house and picking up a load of mulch. And today is all about mulching and landscaping and headed over to my daughter's to do a fresh fluff and fold on all their landscaping. So anyway, join in and follow us along and we'll go through all of it. As you guys know, yesterday we put the side rails on my trailer, and now the big question is, will it hold 10 yards? So we'll see. The experiment is on. Guys, we got 10, and as you can see, I even got a little room to spare. I could do one more. Pretty cool. Well worth the investment. Well, hey, we are now over at my daughter's house, and we're going to do a freshen up with their landscaping. Uh, we did a completely redo a couple of years ago when they moved in, and uh, so all we're doing today is just uh, adding mulch and just doing a light trimming with their hedge stuff. When they first moved in, there were big tall trees here that went all, and they were growing into the house. We cut all of that down. We added a berm here. Uh, and added the knockout rosebush tree as well as made the mulch beds bigger and completely redid. We took everything out that was here except for the Japanese maple. We trimmed this up and shaped it up and now I think we're like two years. This is the second season and so we're just going to do a freshen up. So the first thing we're going to do before we start putting mulch down is we're just going to nip off the ends off these and Uncle T is going to do that now and we'll get busy. guys how I like to do mulching especially around the edges uh, the one thing I want to emphasize is when you are mulching take your time don't just throw the mulch down take your time and try to get a really nice even finish the other thing is the edges I love to have a real pretty thick edge 
because it get, it's pretty, it helps with weed control, and also it gives you a nice contrast between your grass or rock or sidewalks and then going up to your mulch bed. I think it's really pretty. So I wanted to show you guys how I do about doing my mulch edges and, and work it to make it real thin. I'm, I'm sorry, real thick. And so we'll go over that real quick. So I just got a bunch here to work with. And again, it's just take your time. You bring it out to the edge and just work it all the way out to the edge. Don't worry if it gets over in the grass a little bit and just kind of get it built up. And then you come back with your rake and you push to start working that real nice edge border. Okay, and then once you get that established, then you come in with your rake and you just kind of build it up. And the key to getting it nice and even is hold your rake flat like this. And you just wanna, you just wanna do this. This gets everything around nice and even. And again, it's the little subtleties. It's just take your time and build it up and get it nice and pretty and even. Now the cool thing, a lot of people, I'm gonna mess this up real quick. A lot of people will thin, will put their mulch down thin like this. And it looks okay, but the thinner your mulch is, the easier it is for the weeds to work their way through. So not only do I think it's pretty to have that nice, big, thick barrier, but the thicker it is out here, it makes it much harder for the weeds to come through, so it helps in weed control. So not only do I think it looks pretty, it's great for helping keeping your weeds controlled. So anyway, I'll pull this back up. Let me get a little bit more over here. Okay, and I'm just continuing to work to build it up nice and thick and pretty. And then we'll come back and we'll do the fine touches. Again, I'm just building, I'm pulling product in. And then we're gonna come back and edge, push back nice and neat and pretty. This is the key, I think. All right, and then we're gonna come back over the top. Let me get a little bit more product to work with. And now I'm just gonna slowly work it over, getting it nice and even all the way through. Again, the secret is just take your time and just slowly work it up. And then once again, just nice even strokes. And see how nice and even and pretty all of this is. So if you take your time, don't, let, don't get in a hurry, then you see how nice and pretty this is, how nice and even and thick this is, and isn't that a pretty transition? Once we come in with a weed eater and do a nice even uh, line with the grass and then mow, this will be beautiful. Already is beautiful, it'll be even more beautiful. So anyway, just a little tech tip, hope that helps. So guys, one of the things I wanted to share with you as well is mulch, the kind of mulch to go get. Uh, you can find um, mulch out on the market that's inexpensive, uh, but trust me, it's worth paying the extra money and I'll explain why. Uh, so the two things you want to look for is you wanna get what's called double ground and you wanna get dyed. Uh, double ground, the way uh, they make mulch is when a tree goes in to be sawed up into lumber, uh, the first thing they do is they debark it. Uh, all of that bark and all of the outer part of the tree gets sent over to the mulcher and the mulcher just grinds it up. So one time through the mulcher, you will have all kinds of pieces that are left over that are this big and even bigger, lots of big pieces. So once they run it through one time, they'll take all of this and run it through again and do the double ground, and that's when you end up with this kind of product. Now, um, a lot of mulch you can buy doesn't have dye in it, and it's a lot less expensive, uh, probably eight to ten dollars a yard cheaper. But trust me when I say you want to get the dye that they put in it as a as their third step when they do the mulch. Uh, it just makes the mulch last so much longer, and it looks so much prettier. Uh, if this dye, this is this is the double ground dyed and this is the dark brown. And if this did not have the dye in it in a month or two from now, it would start uh, fading out, it would be lightening up, and it would just look like rotted wood. Uh, it doesn't take long, but the dye will keep this color 
and stay pretty for a long period of time as well as it will not just go away to nothing. Mulch tends to just decay and go away to nothing after a year or so, but if you get it with a dye in it, it tends to last as tw at least twice as long. So anyway, just a tech tip on when you go searching for mulch, I, you know, what you can get it in a lighter color, you can get it in black. I'll, we always around here, we like the dark brown. So we get the dark brown, uh, double, uh, double mulched and dyed. So any, or double ground and dyed, sorry. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that's what to look for. I sure hope you find these videos beneficial and if so please consider liking and subscribing and sharing with all your friends and for now with that's going to wrap up this project i think it turned out fantastic so remember with project next there's always one more so we'll be getting another video out again real soon so for now see you guys later thanks for watching and we'll see you again real soon thanks